Namaste everyone and welcome to Wellness Mantra. Today is going to be very very special. Today is special because we are not getting off the mat at all. We are sitting down here and learning a pranayama. What is a pranayama? We've done one earlier. We've done a few of them earlier. Uh, pranayama, like the word denotes, prana is life force or breath and ayama is to invite. So prana ayama means to invite life force within us. So it's all about a breathing practice that which helps us understand the true state of the mind or rather try to help us to calm the mind. Mm, this is something that we all need right now. We just need to calm ourselves, be, look within and be happy. Uh, so today's pranayama is called Nadha Anusandana Pranayama. Nadha Anusandana Pranayama as the name denotes. Nadha means sound. Anusandana is according to the sound. So why is sound involved in a breathing practice? As you all must already know, uh, when we talk there is a lot of breath that is involved. So when we talk there is a lot of breathing out that happens. Now why do we breathe out and when we, why do we try to make a sound? Um, well that's where the speciality of today's class is. I'm going to introduce a mantra that is very simple but very effective. Uh, it is nothing else but the beginning, the pranava omkara. Omkara has a lot of significance in um, spiritual culture but apart from the spiritual culture if you look at the sound Om let's try and decipher what what the sound Om becomes uh, if you have to split it or decipher the sounds that is created by Om you'll observe that there is a sound a uh, followed by an O and finally as the lips seal creating so there are three basic sounds linked together to form the Omkara. Omkara is said to be the beginning or like if you have to create any, any sort of sound, if you have to bang something together, the sound created also has the same effect. It starts with a bass frequency, slowly rises up and then goes into a high pitch. So A uh, as you know is a bass frequency. U, a slightly higher tone and a still higher one. Now what happens when you chant OM? Um, these sound frequencies vibrate at various parts of our body helping that body to settle down or calm down. Uh, as A is a bass frequency sound, A vibrates in the lower part of the body starting from the lower, uh, lowest, lower abdomen down to all your leg until your legs so the speciality of the sound is because it vibrates at the lower part of the body this bass frequency sound is not easy to feel because the lower part of your body is dense and uh, it's got a lot of bones unless unlike the other parts of the bodies which have cavities and you know there is a much better possibility for sound to travel and for that same reason uh, is very less felt unless you have a super level of consciousness uh, the next sound ukara ukara vibrates or originates from your heart region and spreads across your middle body uh, until your neck and this sound uh, radiates and is slightly higher than the frequency of a. Uh. the final sound mm, vibrates around your head region and as you chant the entire sound, you awaken each of your chakras, thereby increasing the energy level within your body. Chakras are energy channels. There are seven primary chakras uh, in our body. Mm, now, I'm not getting into the details of the chakras right now, but let's get back to Nad Nadha Anusandana Pranayama. Uh, we will be doing three sets of mudras followed by a fourth mudra during our practice. The three mudras uh, are chin mudra or jnana mudra where you press your thumb and index finger together and place it on your lap this mudra is uh, said to increase concentration um, helps to induce sleep also uh, because when your mind is concentrated and when you're able to think with clarity you are able to go to get, get a good night's sleep but not not to induce sleep i'm sorry i made a mistake with that <laughs> so you start off with uh, 
chin mudra which is this now what what is the significance of mudras mudras are primarily um, hand gestures created by various um, movements of the fingers like joining of the fingers now why uh, wh what what's the significance of these mudras because our five fingers represent the five elements in nature the pancha Buddhas, as we call it uh, and each of these combinations activate and uh, reduce certain elements or the influence of certain elements within our body and according to yoga we believe that the or the body is made of the five elements now let's not get deeper into that after the chin mudra or the uh, the, uh, the jnana mudra we move into the chinmaya mudra where all the three fingers that was raised will go into your palm and we make a ring with the index and thumb still placing it on your lap so this is chinmaya mudra where we will be chanting the sound u and the final sound mm, will be chanted with the thumb going into the base of the little finger and all the other hand fingers closed around the thumb placed on your lap now this is the Adi Mudra. Now the final sound, the fourth sound will be a combination of all the three that is a uh, uh, mm, in one single breath and then you do a mudra which is the Adi Mudra that we just did but the position of Adi Mudra comes down to the base of your navel region joining the knuckles of your fingers together. Now, uh, I would suggest that you retain the position that you are in. You don't necessarily have to sit on the chair. You can, or, or you can sit on the chair or on the mat. Wherever you sit, please ensure that you keep your back straight and let the energy flow. Uh, so let's start with Vinatha Anasandara Pranayama and um, understand that we will be doing the first round or the first sound which is a, a bass frequency sound nine times followed by ukara the sound u another nine times and the sound m another nine times finally we will be combining all these uh, sounds in an approximate ratio which is one is to one is to two which means a u will be divided equally and m will be double the length of a uh, or u all right are you ready to practice along with me i prefer to sit in vajrasana as we practice the pranayama you may sit in any comfortable meditative posture but try not to move once you get ready with this posture and if it's possible please try and keep your eyes closed and just follow the instructions i promise you it's going to be amazing it's going to let you be relaxed and you will immediately see the benefits of being calm in your mind. Uh, let's begin. Uh, just sit in any comfortable meditative posture, spine erect, eyes closed. Just observe yourself for a few minutes. Let's take a deep breath in and out. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe in and out. Gently adopt chin mudra or jnana mudra where you press your thumb and index finger together and let the other fingers of your palm stay open. Please place them on your lap. Please try and keep your eyes closed. We will be chanting the sound a. Uh, nine times take a deep breath in and try following it with me uh. Ah. Uh. 
one final round. Relax. If you want to stretch out your legs, you can do so now. If you're comfortable sitting the way you are, please continue to do so. Otherwise, you can slowly, without any jerky movement, try to stretch your legs out. Flex your toes a bit. And when you're ready, sit back in your meditative posture. It can be Vajrasana, Siddhasana, Sukhasana, Padmasana, any comfortable posture. Now slowly adopt Chinmaya Mudra, which means pressing your thumb and index finger, making a circle with it and folding the rest of the fingers into your palm. Please place them on your lap, open or palm facing upwards. Observe the energy traveling from the lowermost chakra. Observe it. Travel through your spine into the middle of your body and as it reaches your heart, observe a golden light that will spread from your heart to the rest of the body. As we chant the sound, I want you to see this golden light become larger and larger as it radiates and spreads through your body. We will be chanting the sound O on a slightly higher frequency than what we chanted are with. Take a deep breath in. If you feel the need to stretch your legs out, you can do so now. But if you're comfortable, please stay that way. Please keep your eyes closed. We now adopt the Adi Mudra, where you push your thumb into the base of your little finger and close the other fingers into the thumb. Still placing the palm facing upwards on your lap. We will be chanting the sound, mm, the final syllable of Omkara. You will feel the resonance of this sound in your head region. Enjoy the resonance. Understand that the sound vibrates and resonates into each cell in your body, rejuvenating it, energizing it. Take a deep breath in and get ready.
Enjoy the silence that is seeping within your body. Enjoy the resonance of the sound penetrating into your cells. Each and every cell of yours is rejuvenating. And now for the complete sound, the pranava, the omkara, a, u, n, in one breath. Please remember, we will be doing this in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 2. Please place your palms facing each other with your knuckles pressed against each other under your navel region. This is now the Brahma Mudra where we will chant the sound Aum. Feel the energy rise from your lowest chakra or from, your, from the tip of your tailbone, through your spine, in through your lungs, through your heart region, in through your neck, into your head until it spurts out like a fountain from the crown of your head and flows around your body, flows over your body like a golden river. Take a deep breath in. Ah. within your body. Enjoy the resonance of the sound of Omkara seep through your body. Observe the resonance like a tiny electrical impulse within your entire body. Please maintain a smile on your face 
Enjoy the silence that you are. Understand that your true nature is happiness. You know nothing but happiness. You need nothing but happiness. You radiate nothing but happiness. Enjoy this blissful state of calmness in the mind. Observe your breathing pattern. Observe how rest. Observe the calmness in your body. Observe the undisturbed mind and enjoy the stillness of the mind. Very gently, I want you to rub both your palms together. Please maintain your eyes closed and slowly apply the warmth that is created between your palms onto your face. Feel your forehead, your eyebrows, with the tip of your fingers, feel your temples, slowly feel the socket of your eyes and very slowly touch your eyelids, feel your nose, your cheeks, your lips, your chin, your jawline, your ears, behind your ears. And gently slide your hand over your head and pull it from behind the nape of your neck. Open your hands as you open a book. Have a beautiful smile on your face. With a few flickerings of your eyelid, gently open your eyes and look at your palms. Thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed this session. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.